Hi, I'm going to present the results of an online experiment focusing on the role of narrative messages for improving attitudes and behavior towards stigmatized immigrants. According to data to survey in the, uh, of the public opinion in the European Union, immigration is perceived as the most important problem. 38% of the uh, Europeans also think that immigration is more a problem than opportunity for the country and immigrants are perceived as a burden on the country welfare system and uh, something that makes crime problem worse. Many of the intergroup counters encounters with immigrants occur today through the mass and social media. This type of communication it changes between people from different social groups and takes, on many occasions, negative consequences that affect everyday social relationships. However, it's also true that intergroup communication through social media can be an effective tool to reduce prejudice and improve attitudes toward stigmatized groups such as Emir. In this context, we know that narratives as are powerful tools that can change attitudes about social issues and stigmatize groups. Rather than relying on entertainment education narratives, messages, all group focus on the impact of testimonials of personal narrative messages, in which an immigrant belonging to an stigmatized group recounts his or her life experience. These kind of messages had many, many advantages for in comparison to other uh, approach in narrative persuasion. So we think that narrative messages are very important to transmit attitudes, beliefs, and stimulate behavioral change. Recent meta-analysis review has found that narrative messages produce significant effect on beliefs, attitudes, behavior and intention, and behavior, but also significant variation in this narrative effect was detected. So not all narratives are effective. In this context, we propose the following question. To what extent are personal narrative messages, testimonials, effective tools to reduce prejudice? against stigmatized groups such as immigrants? More important, what ingredients must have a narrative against racism and xenophobia to persuade people? And finally, what psychological processes or mechanisms are relevant to understand the attitudinal impact of narrative messages against racism and xenophobia? The present study has two goals. The first one, was to analyze the role of two narrative devices related to the production of testimonial messages designed for improving attitudes toward in uh, outgroups. In this case, we test the role of similarity and narrative voice. Secondly, I research somewhat to analyze the explanatory mechanisms of the indirect effect of this narrative devices, in particular, the role of identification with the protagonist of the messages in the activation of different cognitive process, processes and also the merging or identity fusion with the whole immigrant groups, also defined in another context as inclusion of the out group in the cell. Charter similarity it was the first dependent independent variable in our research and similarity is the, with the, to the protagonist occur when the individual who is exposed to a narrative message shares certain traits with the protagonist. Similarity is a multidimensional construct but previous research has only focused on the effect of demographic similarity and evidence, empirical evidence is inconclusive uh, for the reason we are proposing another dimension of the similarity, another uh, that is called similarity in, in terms of social identity, uh, is related to a subjective aspect such as national feelings 
and the attachment to cultural elements, and it involves putting what people have in common in the forefront and emphasizing the feeling of a shared identity, social identity. But we are not proposing a, a, a principal main effect or main, ef or main effect of similarity. We are proposing that the effect of similarity could be intensified by simultaneously altering another narrative device. In this case, our second and second independent variable was narrative voice or point of view. That is related to the perspective adopted by the narrator and from which the story is told. First person messages are perceived as more general, are easier to understand, increase perceptive taking and identification, and are more effective in inducing risk perception, for example, in health communication research. However, the empirical evidence regarding the effect of narrative voice in the context of intergroup relations and prejudice reduction is scarce and contradictory. In, re in relation to uh, mediate, mediation analysis in, in our research, we are trying to put together two kinds of mediators. Mediating variable related to narrative persuasion research and one specific mediator from uh, intergroup contact research. In the first groups, we have four different mediators, identification with the protagonist, counter-arming, reactant, and cognitive elaboration. More relevant theoretical model in narrative persuasion research have indicated that this mediating variable are very important and they are connecting in a causal chain in so that identification has the power of lowering the critical capacity of the audience and also to increase cognitive elaboration. The uh, mediating variable related to intergroup contact research is has been defined in different in different ways. We are using the expression fusion identity because it refers to a sense of ownness with a with a one group, the in group of the out group. And in the context of intergroup contact research is more uh, uh, um, a typical expression inclusion of the out group is, uh, of the outlook in the cell. But we think that it is important, very reliable, when people receive narrative intergroup contact. So, in the present study, we are proposing that uh, there will be there would be uh, an interaction effect between similarity and narrative voice on identification with the protagonist. This is the hypothesis one. But in addition, we are proposing three alternatives moderating mediation, mediation model. The first one, uh, we, are, we predict a conditional indirect effect of similarity on identity fusion with the immigrant group through identification, but only after receiving a first person message. We propose uh, two different research questions. The first one, in which uh, we are asking about uh, a, a conditional indirect effect of similarity on identity fusion through identification as a, media a prim primary mediator and three different cognitive processes, counter arguing, reactance, and cogni a cognitive elaboration. And finally, the second research question are proposing a conditional indirect effect uh, we are proposing a conditional indirect effect of similarity on three different dependent variables, outgroup feelings, content detection, and prosocial behavior toward stigmatized groups. In this case, we have two mediators, identification with the protagonist and identity fusion with the immigrant group as a secondary uh, mediator. To test our prediction, an online experiment with what was conducted with countries with a two by two uh, between sided uh, factorial design and a testimonial message 
featuring a, a Romanian immigrant woman living in Spain was used as a stimuli. Uh, we created four different narratives uh, in which were, uh, we manipulated uh, the uh, narrative voice and the similarity and also we included uh, positive comments regarding the living in Spain and also the underlying persuasive message that the character wanted to uh, transmit to the audience. We have different colors in the screen to describe uh, uh, each uh, uh, manipulation of each kind of information in the narrative. To measure uh, our um, uh, mediating variable, we, you, we use uh, several standard scales previously using another studies. We have uh, in the first uh, in the first place several measures to analyze to measure um, identification with the protagonist, cognitive elaboration, counter arguing and reactance to measure identity identity fusion with Romanian immigrants we use inclusion of the other in the self scales and uh, to measure our dependent variable we use again several uh, scales to uh, measure our group feelings, contact intention with uh, Romanian immigrants living in Spain, and pro-social uh, behavior, a lie considering to collaborate as a volunteer in an NGO supporting immigrants. We check manipulation effect, the manipulation or similarity. We have a we had an index of perceived similarity composed by six items. As you can see in the slide, we found a, a statistical significant effect of a similarity condition on this index of perceived similarity with a strong effect. Uh, to test the first hypothesis, we use analysis of covariance, uh, controlling for uh, socio-demographic variables, sex uh, or gender, age, political ideology, and uh, national identification uh, <coughs> with uh, Spain. And also we use a process to test the conditional effects. As you can see in the slide, we found a significant uh, interaction effect between similarity and narrative voice on identification and also on identity fusion. And to test hypothesis two, we use again process. You can see the code for that uh, analysis in the, in the slide. Uh, in this case, uh, we found a conditional indirect effect of similarity on identity fusion through identification only what people were exposed to a first person narrative. So this is converging with our hypothesis. To test the research question number one, we use a more complex mediation model. In particular, it was a serial multiple moderated mediation model. In this case, we test first counter arguing as a secondary mediation, mediation variable. As you can see in the slide, there was a, a strong and significant negative correlations or association between identification and counter arguing but counter arguing was not associated with identity fusion so we didn't find any in con a, a conditional indirect effect through both process identification and counter arguing acting, acting in a tandem but uh, and the same result was found uh, we regarding including reactance at the second a secondary mediation process identification was negatively associated with reactance but reactance was not associated with identity fusion and the same result was uh, obtained regarding cognitive elaboration in this case there was a positive association between uh, identification and cognitive elaboration, but again, cognitive elaboration has no an, any significant effect on identity fusion. Finally, we test 
uh, the, the, to test the result question number two, we use again a serial multiple moderating mediation model we process. And in this case, the secondary mediator was identity fusion, and we use different dependent variables. In this slide, you can see the uh, our dependent variables was our group feelings, and you can see we found significant conditional indirect effects according in the same in the in the sense we have proposed. So uh, similarity increase identification, identification increase identity fusion, identity fusion was associated with our group feelings, but this process was only significant after reading a first uh, a, a first person narrative. The same result, result was conducted, uh, was obtained, sorry, with content detection dependent variables. Again, identity fusion was uh, a significant uh, secondary mediation, um, uh, strongly associated with content intention, but this process was only significant after reading a first person narrative. And finally, we have the same result uh, regarding to prosocial behavior. Again, see identity fusion was associated with prosocial behavior in this in, in the in the serial model we are we have proposed, but only after reading a first person narrative. Well, we have found that certain attributes of personal narrative messages, narrative devices, can increase their effectiveness. In this case, similarity and narrative voice interacting together to, pr to produce an increase of identification and uh, identity fusion. Secondly, we found that identification with the protagonist and identity fusion experience were processes, processes operating in tandem, allowing to explain how, why, and when certain narrative devices improved our group attitudes, promoted content intention, and encouraged social behavior toward a stigmatized group. However, the processes related to resistance to the messages, contrarian and reactance and cognitive elaboration uh, connected with uh, um, narrative persuasion research were not relevant mediating processes to explain the conditional effects of similarity on ident identity fusion with the immigrant group. So, finally, we found that uh, identity fusion or the increased feeling of closeness or the inclusion of the outgroup group in the self lead to improved attitudes towards the mind groups and pro outgroup group behavior. Thank you for attention. Thank you for watching.